Guys, it's me again, Orcs Lair. Well, it's where we last left off. Let's see. Check, check, checking. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. Bell, Deku, and Bakugo. Well, the entire gang has pretty much been defending a uh, ware uh, warehouse, essentially, for a long period of time against a gang called the Bronze Eagles. Now, a little bit after that, they got May. Then they got... I believe it was the video before this one. They got May and such. Now they've pretty much Bakugo has become an adult in his society's eyes, being brought to Clan Gadlock. And as sort of like something for not them, but after the chief of Clan Gadlock heard about who they were fighting, having some his clan having somewhat of a personal vendetta, you could say against them. He lent them 15 brand new, well, 15 recently, recent, uh, people who have been accept Krogan that have been accepted as adults. Accepted, not accepted, accepted as adults. That being said, what happens now is that, well, they literally just tore apart an assault. Now, there is a problem, you see. They pretty much cut to, like, right after the battle, and they're like, Weasel! Where's Weasel? Go grab Weasel, will ya? As the Krogan, like, who's Weasel? It's like, he's our information guy. As he's like, hey, guys, how you been? It's like, how'd everything go here? It's like, eh, it went fine. I was actually able to sell a lot of the Mercs gear on the black market. Surprising. A lot of these people really, they have some pretty decent equipment. But it could either be acquired from long periods of time, or they could have been just buying more stuff from the black market. Anyways, a lot of people are eager to get their hands on some of their weapons. Not all their weapons, though, unfortunately. <sighs> so sad. It's like, have you found anything about the Bronze Eagles? She's like, oh yeah. Well, they've been around here for a while, you could say. They caused a bit of trouble... Is cause a bit of trouble, as well as you know, typical <sighs> raiding shipments, gathering more money. There's even whispers of there being a supplier for them to muscle down smaller tech companies. That way, the corporation could grab all this land available. But I'm unsure about it. You know, typical. As then he goes on to explain that. Nobody knows quite yet where their base of operations are. From what everyone can tell, they just all separate after, like, they get a call and they all separate. Nobody really has has knowledge of a main base, so, you know. That's gonna be hazard to find, as it's like, eh, you're probably right. Hmm. Keep digging. Maybe next time they lead an assault against us, we could possibly send someone or put trackers on them. You know, to normal stuff. It's like, eh, could be right. Or, hmm. You know, May could possibly. They did, those robots that we got, not all of them were, you know, bought. Some of them were repaired from what the Bronze Falcons, Bronze Eagles, not Falcons, Bronze Eagles did like hmm so think maybe may may be able to hack into them as it's like it's a possibility as bell pretty much gives orders well pretty much tells deku and them to like keep an eye out the guys may try to come rushing in then he addresses the krogans that were sent with them they're like good job today so, how would you guys like your first taste of battle? Has several, well, not first taste, but how would you guys like being in an actual organized fight? As it's like, it was great! Plenty of fighting and blood! As, like, several of them, like, yeah, keep on doing, keep on giving us fights like this, and we'll stick around for a bit longer. It's like, that's the intention, my boy, my friends. Anyways, uh, kind of tired, but I gotta go deal with Weasel. As he goes, not Weasel, but, uh, May. As then he starts talking with May about activating, uh, sort of beak, something that would get 
the robot to go back to him. As she's like, I didn't see anything of that, but I could take another look. As then she starts looking over it. Bell, well, Deku and the rest of the guys just start talking. As they explain the situation with the Krogan in depth. Depth? Yeah. As they're like, oh, that's neat. As then they continue onward. As in a week or so goes by, after this last assault, things have sort of quieted down. Some of the Krogan are like, I thought they'd, you say they attack every night. It's like, they, they, they did. Something's not right here. As then as they're explaining this, it's like, Hey guys, I sort of found, I found a way to activate this thing to return to its masters, but, well actually we're supposed to return to you, but, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's like, several, like, over, like, several mile, like, dozens of miles that way, so. I don't know what we're supposed to do with that, as it's like, hmm. So they bring everyone together, so we got a few options here. We can either hold out here and then go check over there, or, you know, we could just report it to the authorities. It's like, Everyone's looking at each other. Is everyone's looking at each other, just like thinking he reported to the authorities. As everyone just does, starts bursting out laughing. Oh, oh, that's a good one. No, but in all seriousness, what's the attack plan? Well, to be fair, it would take a while to get there with trucks or anything. Plus, they may see us. They may actually be ready for like any ground troops. So. I don't know what to do. We could roll up there. I'd say we divide our forces. Kirishima, Deku, Bakugo. You guys would go ahead and... Well, actually, not Kirishima. Well, Kirishima and uh, Ida would take around seven Krogan and Bakugo and the rest. Bakugo, well, yeah, Bakugo, I guess. Deku, Bakugo, Ida... And, yeah, that's it. They'll take those guys with seven Krogan, and then they would lead an attack on the base, as well as being provided ten mechs. Well, fifteen mechs, I'd say, would be a decent number for this. As she says, I have no idea how many are there, and she just says that's where they're supposed to be. And, about me, Kirishima, Kaminari... The rest of the Krogan and drones would stay here. You guys go check out that quiet, that little place, and tell report back. As it's like, uh, what do you say? What do you say, Bakugo, Nita? Care to lead a little assault with Deku? As it's like, they're like, Bakugo's like, you kn I'm ready for anything. As then, Ida's like, I believe we should report this to authorities, but there's no stopping any of you, so let's do it. As it's like, all right then. Get your gear packed up and ready. We'll be trying to, or we'll get some trucks or something. As then they start thinking about it, as it's like, you guys may want to take these, as they give them like some heavier weapons, like a grenade launcher and a rocket launcher. As it's like, you sure about this? As it's like, you'll most likely need it, trust me. As it's like, whatever you say, boss. As then they take the weapons and such and are, and they move out a little bit after night, a little bit when the sun starts to set. So they get in their trucks and have loaded up several, a few squads or so of the robots, as well as they're dividing the Krogan up between. Sorry, they are dividing up the Krogan between Bakugo and Deku. Well, they just give all the Krogan to Bakugo, while with Deku and Ida dividing up the robots between themselves. There's a, actually a couple Krogan go with Deku. And it's like, alright. As they start moving into position, well, first they scout it out. As it's like, they set up a flying drone as it, like, has camo. As it's looking over the thing, it's like, as they, like, get a screen, alright. It looks like, alright, yeah. It's a small base, it looks like, but they do have a few buildings around them that could house more people. Sorry. We got either go in there hard and fast or nice and slow. It's up to you guys, though. As they start talking, it's like, 
Hogan is such a with a vehicle. It also seems they actually have a few vehicles. Is that a heavy? Is that a Mako? That's like a what? It's a heavily armored vehicle. How did they get one of those? As it's like well, they've been throwing hundreds of guys at us. They've been throwing out like a few hundred, well, several hundred people at us. Not even several hundred, like almost close, like to over a thousand. I'm pretty sure of people at us. Pretty sure they could possibly. Well, they've just been throwing a lot of people at us lately. I'm pretty sure they could possibly afford a Mako. It's like eh, you're probably right. All right, so we get up there as close as possible. Bakugo, well, Kirishima and Deku will lead the assault, the initial assault. You guys will use the Max and their grenade launchers to tear about, tear apart the walls, as well as send in a few grenades over the building, and it's like trying to get a few of them into the buildings. It's like sounds good. And it's like all right. As they start moving in, Bakugo and his team start moving around to the back. As in, it's like three, two, one. Ow. As they fire a flare up to like signal that they're ready. As then they start rushing forward, grenade launchers and grenades going all about. It just blows apart several guards immediately. So they rush in and pretty much just start wiping out the entire entire facility. They take several t they take the robots and such and break into the houses, clearing the rooms out with with quite ruthless efficiency. Leaving none standing as when the final complex is all that's left. Like, the Krogan got into the back with, like, troops trying to, fo like, get on Deku and his team. Well, Ida and Deku's teams. And they were literally just torn apart by the Krogan that were in the back that snuck up on them. S snuck up on them. There we go. As with that being said, the... Well, not the, but the, um... Krogan were having a blast. A few of them wanted to go ahead and try to break into the, like the main thing. Bakugo tried to keep them under control, but they were kind of rash. They pretty much bust down the door and started moving in, blasting away all these bronze falcons as they're like, "Boss, we got people in the." As in, just a blast of shotgun and a few Krogan like shears. As in, other guys are like, "They're in, they're inside. We can't." As the doors blast open with Deku rushing forward with his shotgun and heavy and heavy pistols, just blasting everyone apart. Everyone's eventually taken down to the point of the facility being a bloodbath. As Bakugo and his team cleared out the main facility, but they took a f some some pretty bad injuries. A few Krogan got shot, pretty bad. A few of them got little scratches, and Bakugo even took a bit of damage, sort of getting a blast to the side of his face, sort of giving him like a little, a few little scars of fragmentations as he went to go cover his eye and such. Everyone's like, "Well, that was went well." As then they start going through the facility as they radio into Bell and such as like, "Hey, Bell," it's like, "Yeah, guys," as it's like. Uh, how'd you go on your end? Well, we still haven't seen anybody here, but it looks all good to us. What about you? Well, we just wiped out a large facility. From the looks of it, there's a lot of cargo here, man. If you guys could somehow get a large cargo van to, like, get over here, we can start loading this stuff up. As they're, like, going through it, they're like, dude, sorry. Hmm. They got a large amount of weapons, V they even got a like a Mako here, man. They got a Mako. Is it like yep. It seems like they got a few things and it actually looks like they even have a few a little assault crafts and such. Like, what do you mean by assault crafts? You know like drop ships and such that they use for like special teams or whatever? As it's like, no. I have no idea what that is. Well it's like a very small space not spaceship, but a very small ship, you could say. Like, uh, you drop a few people off, then you get out of there, sort of thing. Because it's like, oh, that is n cool. How do these guys get their hands on this? It's like, I don't know, man. Either they've been playing the game a long time, or people have been supplying them. Because this is top-of-the-line weaponry they have right here. 
Some of the stuff is even better than ours. It's like, ugh. As Deku says, yeah, I got a lot of explosive dr drugs. And as he does, like, we found a vault. It appears to contain lar a lot of money. How much is a lot? Like, several crates worth of credits, man. All of it's physical. This is a lot. As then everyone gets starts, like, packing up their thing. Bell's like, mm -hmm. alright, I'll send Kirishima and Kaminari. Well, hang on. Kirishima. I'll send Kirishima and May to come and pick you guys up, alright? I'll send a few drones at, with them. Just be me, Kaminari, and Uraraka this time, it seems. And so like, sorry, man. This is a good haul. As it's like, oh, no doubt about it. Sure, you get all that stuff back here nice and great. Neat. Nice and safe, as in, like, you betcha. As they pretty much, Bakug well, Kirishima and them eventually arrive with a giant, tr with a big truck. They're like, alright, let's start getting this stuff loaded. As then there's the Mako, as they're like, what should we do with this? As Bakugo's like, hmm. As Ida, like, did a bit of snooping, as he's like, well, I found the keys. And I do have a bit of training to drive vehicles such as this. As, well, Ida's sort of starting to let loose as they're like, really, Ida? You? He's like, what? These guys were criminals. Doesn't matter to me. As he's sort of putting on a little smile, smirk, not smile, smirk. As then it's just like, so, we got paint this black and put Onyx, the Onyx Chariot. Yeah. Sound good? And it's like, no longer will we call the Mink Mako. You'll become the Onyx Chariot. Or some other name. Doesn't matter to me. The Onyx Steed? Nah, Onyx Chariot sounds good to me. Yeah. As then they... So, Ida starts driving it as he's like running alongside them. As it's like, the cannon seems to be doing good too. As it's like, so... As then eventually they arrive back at the facility... As May, well, not May, well, actually, May was actually pretty much drooling on how much tech they were bringing out. She's like, some of the stuff is straight from the black market. As they're like, whoa, 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 wait on a second, I call dibs on this. As it's like, what is it? It's a high gener, it's a VI maker. I can use, like, this to actually probably upgrade the combat VI and the, and the bots to make them even more efficient. As like, you can make them more efficient than just clearing out houses and such. As she's like, yes, don't ever underestimate a programmer. As it's like, well, whatever you say, May. As, as then they're like, did we get any information on these bronze falcons? I mean, eagles? It's like, uh, not a lot. It seems like, seems like they're getting money from other places. Like, it could just be like a larger organization. Or it could just be like some sort of investor. In the sense of bullying other people is what I've heard. It's like, you got a point there, so. But, what would, wouldn't the employer cut them off if they were having so much trouble put down one group? It's like, and Mason more, to be all honest. It's like, you should probably tell Belle this. And, uh, Melissa and her father. I believe I made them Turians, if I remember correctly. I believe so. Yeah, I think I made them Turians. So, with that being said, they eventually approach uh, David and her fa and Melissa about the scenario. As they're like, "You guys gotta come check this out." As they're like, "Oh, goody!" As they like finish closing a deal, guys. Guess what? We just closed a major deal. As then they get into the warehouses, like, dude. As they're like, Mr. Shield, look at all this stuff. As they're like unloading a large mar amount of cargo. As they're like, what is all this stuff? Well, it looks like the Bronze Eagles were... Had a bit of a party. Or a bit of a stash. It's like, yeah, but there's one problem here. They got a bunch of drugs that we just didn't leave. So, you know, it's like, it's like you guys got drugs here? Get that stuff out of here. It's like, don't worry. We intend to report it to the authorities. Authorities. We don't, we're not drug dealers. It's like, Weasel's like, what about, no. Drugs are one of the very few things we don't get bothered with. 
combat stims and like light stuff we're okay with but stuff like some of these things and some of the stuff they had that stuff you leave to those other people we don't deal with drugs like these all right as they made that clear to weasel he's like but you can still also sell all the weaponry and such that we found but the mako or well the onyx chariot is off limits they're like what's the onyx chariot so then they take them out and show them the heavy hardware they got a few drop ships too it's like how does this even make sense at this point? As it's like, I don't know. It's like, what's this place even called? It's called Elysium, if I remember, if that's why I called it. Well, yeah, I guess you got a point. <sighs> Sorry. <coughs> mm. As then the authorities even show up, as they, like, as what they get what happened with them explained by the Onyx, as they're like, yeah, we were recently, we were hired uh, several months ago to protect this facility, you know, and we found out their location and such through some snooping around, and we attacked their facility, we didn't want to, ch like, chance of endangering any police officers' lives, you know, as it's like, well, we were, we, we appreciate the thought, but it's our duty, as, uh, we know, we know, Anyways, we found a bunch of illegal drugs. As like, what? As they get like showed over, as it's like, we found all this. Is like, this is all you found? Well, they had some heavier equipment, but we pretty much, as payment, you could say, have taken those. As it's like, it's the least you can do, right? Besides, this ha doesn't have to be on the books. We just took some of the stuff that would like help us better do our jobs. You know, this is like, we want. We want reports on what everything you found. And Brass can try to take it from you or not. You are technically independent and can technically just have it signed to you. There's no illegal... I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with you having this. Especially in this system with all the pirates and such. So, it makes sense. It's like, thank you. Alright, fine. As Bell says this... Well, Weasel says this. It's like, excuse me, Bell. He's like, uh... Yeah, Weasel? It's like, can you show these kind officers what we have gotten from our latest raids? As he smiles, it's like, oh, very well. As then he's like, come along, sir. I mean, come along, officer. So then they show it as he's like, what the? As several mechs are standing around sort of doing patrols with Krogan, as if like, nice little operation you got here. It's like, uh, yeah, it's been recent, but we've been able to heavily increase the security of this place. Do not take our job lightly, sir. As it's like, oh, as it's in the as the Onyx Chariot is being in the middle of being, uh, pretty much customized, with the logo and such of the Onyx Sentinels. As it's like, all right, well, it, as then it looks over to the gunships and like, got gun those things, not gunships, but you got those as well. It's like, yes. Uh, a few of our people know how to drive, so do not worry, sir. As it's like, alright. As then they are constantly looking over their stuff, it's like, well, I'll go make my report and have this, like, have this stuff delivered to the front and have some of your mechs guarding it so that way we'd be able to arrive and capture it quickly. We have to make sure our rep your report was correct. Like, thank you, sir. As then they go on and leave, and then it's like, well, this could be beneficial. With a major bust like this, and the cops not losing anybody, they may over, they may not mind us having some heavily armed forces, you know? As it's like, indeed, especially if we got rid of a thorn in their side, the Bronze Eagles, as it's like, well, yeah, Bronze Eagles, there we go. As then, Melissa and uh, David talk with them saying that they're that they've received a large shipment of more stuff and that there's no way they're gonna be able to have everything in this place that's just like oh what about the guns and weapons well through legitimate channels we've been able to discuss some you know deals with some legitimate aren't like legitimate security workers and such and a few mercenary groups that would be interested in buying and such. So, if you wouldn't mind, 
they'd be interested in some of the rockets, several a large, several crates of assault rifles, and yada yada yada. Uh, and it's like, you guys didn't offer them any of the mechs, or the Mako, or the Onyx Chariot, or the gunships, or, or the Onyx Angels, as it's like, Onyx Angels, it's like, yeah. It's like, no, we didn't offer them those, those were off limits, as we explained it to them, as it's like, good, good. As, over the past, over the series of a few, six months, well, a few months, I'd say, a few people, a few groups come by picking up guns, weapons, etc. They tried to negotiate deals for the Mako and the ships, but they were declined. Those stuff was non-negotiable. It's to help them, like, just in case things really did go bad. As the city over, like, the period of this year has expanded and has gone several, a lot more... Uh, what's the word? Uh, I forget the word exactly used. Shit. Colonist. Sorry, I forgot the word. It got a lot more colonist. As with that being said, like, well, colonist is the right word? I guess it would be. As then they explain the situation to them. Yeah. As then, a few six months, I if I'm, six or so months, if I remember correctly, everyone's built up great li relationship. May is doing her thing by keeping up tech and such, inventing new tech and such, trying to get people interested. The Krogan have gotten used to guard duty and such, and so they've sort of cooled down, you could say, after... Having a few fights, you could say, with Bakugo, Deku, and Bell. The ones who fight Bakugo get hit. The ones who fight Deku get hit. The ones who fight Bell pretty much get tossed around. Thanks to Bell knowing a few things on how to fight. They've gotten a few, several, like, dozens of more mechs, thankfully. And a few people from the local area have actually been wondering... And have tried to like see if they could join up with Deku and them. Hearing that they're a very they're essentially like a private military almost. They're cold efficient and they're willing to pay, is what they heard. As it's like young people, similar to like Deku's and Bakugo's ages. Well, Deku and Bell's, you could say, when they were younger, as they're like, Yeah, we're interested. As it's like Kira Ida's like, you know, we could let them join. I wouldn't mind putting them through the you know, through training. That way they know how to hold a gun. They know combat fitness. You know, the works. As is like, maybe, maybe. Like, eh, maybe. We'll decide later on. Till then, if you're... If you really are interested, go talk with Ito over there. He's sort of like our ex-military. He'll put you through the ringer and see if, you could, if you're... Sh if you're up to snuff with our, you know, expectations. And the conditions we'd probably put you under. We're a highly elite organization. I hope you two, you few realize that. So if you join this, you will be, better be ready to work. You better be ready to run your ass off. Because it's going to be hotter than hell. Ugh. It's just like, we're ready. It's like, very well, go see Ida. We're getting... He'll put you through, like I said, the ringer. As it's like, so, you want to join the Onyx Sentinels? As it's like, yeah, you know it. As it's like, very well. First step, running. As he grabs, a f turns on a few of the robot dogs. As it's like, it's like, get set, go. As he says go, they like start running. And it's like, you'll be doing three laps, well, six laps around the entire the entire warehouse shouldn't take you so long should take you at least 30 minutes and to keep well yeah 30 minutes or so as for that as he like turns on the robot sick him boy well not 30 minutes I'd say they have him run two laps around the robot and it's pretty large it's like sick him boys as in the dogs start chasing after him it's like Run, 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 Billy, run. As they're like, I'm running. 
as they're running out trying to outrun the robot dog. Over the period of time, they're all still standing through some miracle. That's like, well, that includes a practice period. Meet back here at such and such time. We'll continue your training. It's like, you got it, sir. As they all get done, they return. They all have talks with their families and such. Having been drug dragged out here to be part of the colonist program. And with that being said, a few months go by. These guys have been training constantly. And they're almost up to like a point where they graduate, you could say. They get lightweight armor of and a submachine gun. They were trained in other weapons. They were trained with assault rifles and such, but it's about it. And they've pretty much been brought under Ida's wing. As their armor is pitch black, but like I said, a lighter version. So, so as everything's going fine and dandy one day, like I said, Elysium, that's the place. There have been whispers of Batarians causing a lot of trouble recently. They are not quite happy with humans having settled here, so... Well, let's just say they hired a few unsavory characters. In that time, a large amount of pirates, slavers, and all other kinds of unsavory folk came crashing down. This place has a large population and everything. The fleet had probably, I'd say, maybe millions? I have no clue on how many slavers and such. Maybe it had, like, hundreds of thousands. That being said, Deku and them were all in a relatively defensible position. Sorry. As immediately, a ship start appearing out of nowhere. Sorry. <clears throat> Ships start appearing out of nowhere as they fly in through the Mass Effect relays. As then everyone's, like, there's stations up in the atmosphere. As everyone's like, a large fleet has just appeared in orbit as everyone's looking up it's like what the hell as then ships just start as then drop ships just start coming down as well people just start getting and pretty much start being shot at and such like i said they're in a relatively defensible position it's like as they speak to their new recruits get your families and tell them get their asses over here is what is what deku says we're defending everyone prepare to defend the positions as turrets are turned on, a few of the ships are turned on, like, they're ready to, like, start attacking. And they even bring out the Onyx Sentry, or the Onyx, Onyx, uh, the, sorry, the, oh, God, the Onyx Chariot. Sorry about that, I forgot the name. As all that starts, like, getting kicked off, it takes a while for the fighting to reach them. In this time, people have been getting on the outskirts. People are just being... Houses are being destroyed. People are being enslaved. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Thankfully. Like I said, with the city's expansion, rapid expansion and build up, well, you know. Several people, civilians and alliance soldiers who were there on leave start getting into action. They grab weapons, whatever they can, and try to form defenses. Few of the defenses are able, makeshift defenses can hold, few of them don't. As then, eventually the fighting almost reaches them, as then, uh, it's like, can you believe what that guy's doing? As a few civilians reach them, as it's like, what's happening out there? An alliance soldier is somehow holding back a few assaults. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it out. It's quite incredible, actually. Uh, I don't know who he is, but he's giving them a run for their money. It's like, um, how long? Do you, he, there's no way he can last for long, though. I'd say he's got several, like, ten minutes. Like, they're starting to bear down on him as it's like, oh. Uh, uh, Bell's like, all right, get ready. We're going to help that guy. As it's like, wait, what? As in it's like, Bakugo, Kir Kirishima, Kaminari, you guys, 
Do you guys know how to keep crowd control? Well, Ida, it's like Ida. Stay here and keep people calm. Kirishima, Kaminari, Bell, Deku. You guys are with me. And then the Krogan come in like dozens of drones. They even bring her Araka for good measure. As it's like, what's going on? It's like, uh, they're going to help out an Alliance soldier. If they don't, people are going to die. As then they like, they decide that they could defend this position and possibly hold out or they could help the dude. As they start moving in, they even bring out the, uh, the Onyx, the Onyx uh, chariot, which they tried to cram as many people as they could, but they couldn't. So they had a few trailers lagging behind with the robots. So they all arrive and it's like, the guy is about to be overrun as he's like, there's too many of them as he's like blasted away up a few slavers are about to shoot him as then a cannon sound goes bang or a boom. As then a thing goes by and explodes these slavers as people just start rushing out of the car, out of the thing as it's like, move, move, move. Drone mechs are getting in position. Are you all right, soldier? He's like, "Who are you? Who are you? Who the hell are you guys?" It's like, "We're the Onyx Sentinels, a mercenary group working within the city." And your name is? Um, uh, my name is Shepard. Well, Shepard, you're in luck. We're decided to come and save your ass. It's like, hold the positions. Get the sniper teams and ready. Move, move, move. As everything's been going off. Everyone's defending the position, doing what they can. And with that, th and with that being said, they're like, "Keep your head down, Shepard." Araka, flatten those guys with some of that rubble. As is like, you got it. As she lifts up several like tons of rubble and chucks it at the Batarian invaders or the slavers and such. As in it's like, reporting, fleet reporting. The Alliance ships are here. The Alliance, and the Alliance ships are here. As is like. As then the ships just start getting blown out of the sky. As then they explain that, hey, they're starting to turn back. As then everyone just keeps firing. As a few mechs have gone down and a few, few Krogan are injured. As it's like, oh. Kaminari and Bell have taken out dozens of people with their snipers. Deku was firing shotgun shells and pistols nonstop. Switched to the pistol after he realized none of them were getting close enough. Sorry. The robots racked up dozens of kills as well. One was Shepard. And the turret was a lifesaver because they brought in their own he heavy vehicles. Thankfully, the iron, the Onyx sen sen Chariot, not Sentry, Onyx Chariot, was able to blast apart some of these, actually causing them to explode and kill others near them. You're like, thanks. It's like, it's no problem. Hey, we'll give you a ride back. We'll give you a ride back to where we're housing some civilians. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. As it's like, oh, really? Thanks. It's like, no problem, Shepard. As they all catch a ride on the on the chariot. So, you guys are a mercenary group? As he questions, he's like, yeah, and you are? I'm with the, al the Alliance. Name's Shepard, like I said. He's like, well... I'm Bell, that's my brother Deku, that's, that's a Uraka, and that's Bakugo right there, I believe, no wait, I let Bakugo behind, well, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, as it's like, at the, at the, when we get back there, we got Bakugo, we got Bakugo, Kirishima, and Ida, as well as, uh, a Korean named Mei, our employers, Mr. Shield, and Melissa Shield. As they like unload off the truck, as it's like so, it's like so. You got Krogan's working for you. Well, we are a mercenary group, and we did take care of a problem for them once upon a time. That's another story. So then they, it's like this is a large facility. If you guys stay here, you could have easily defended. It's like, well, it's not that simple. We got a finite amount of ammo, and I feel like if we killed hundreds of slavers and such, it'd be a while. The Alliance have started sending in troops in such, like, secure areas. Eventually, they meet up with, like, the Onyx Sentinels as they explain who they are to, like, an Alliance captain. Give the explanation on how they fended off several waves with Shepard's help as they put him right here. He's like, as he, like, gives a salute to the captain, like, 
commit I'm Shepherd um, Lions. He's like, I know I oh yeah. I remember you, I think. Well good job good job holding out for as long as you did, son. We'll take it from here. And it's like, thank you, sir. And Sentinels, Onyx Sentinels. Thanks for helping out one of our own. And thanks for keeping the colonists safe. It's like anytime, sir. We're paid by the minutes. It's like, huh. Well, we need, if any of our boys ever need training, we may actually come to you. It's like, ha, ah, funny, sir. See you. Good luck. Good, good hunting. As it's like, no problem. Stay safe. As then, they set off. And that's where I'm going to end this one off at. I hope y'all have enjoyed this. Hope y'all continue to enjoy this. And I hope y'all have a nice day. Nice night. Nice life.